director. Breaking news. You are about to hear from the man who made a decision today that everybody's talking about. That's the decision announced by Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus that it will phase out the use of its famed elephants by the year 2018. It is a stunning announcement considering the elephants have been part of this circus for 145 years. Kenneth Feld is chairman and CEO of Ringling Brothers, parent company Feld Entertainment. Kenneth joins us from just outside Sarasota, Florida. It is so great that you could come on here because if I see one more tweet weighing in on this or one more blog commenting on it, I just want to know why you guys made this decision to eventually move the elephants off the stage, off stage right, and move them on. There's really a few reasons. First of all, it was a long, well thought out decision mm -hmm. that our family made and we've been thinking about it for quite some time. But it's really because there's been uh, somewhat of a mood change or shift uh, with consumer sentiment about seeing elephants traveling from town to town. And there's also been a tremendous amount of legislative activity that sort of changed the rules in which you could have these elephants. So it made for a very inconsistent um, sort of business model. And, I, and that was really uh, our decision and we think it's the right time and we're committed to the Asian elephant. And 20 years ago we opened our Center for Elephant Conservation right, right. and we've had more success uh, than, than anyone else, and we have the largest and only sustainable herd of Asian elephants in the Western Hemisphere. So over the next three years, we will transition our elephants that are currently touring to our Center for Elephant Conservation and continue the conservation efforts, the study of the Asian elephant, and reproduction of Asian elephants, because we feel that we are probably the only company that has a goal of saving an endangered species, and we have the expertise and the ability and the mm -hmm. most diverse gene pool of Asian elephants okay, to do well, this. Let me just say, what we're showing on the screen is, is when they move the elephants, as you said, from city to city, people see them and they're in this line and they're being herded and they're being pushed. Um, I'm just going to, well, the elephant in the room, so to speak, is that people are saying that this was uh, forced upon you by the politically correct people out there. Was this a business decision? Were you losing revenue by this so-called mood shift that you talked about? Well. I think the animal rights activists will say whatever they think and they have for a long time and we've been in litigation with them and by the way never lost litigation in That's fact right. yeah. they brought a lawsuit against us and they agreed to settle it where they paid us over 25 million dollars so it gives you a sense of them and I think if it was just animal rights activists that's something that we could always deal with but the legislation side uh, made it very inconsistent for us and we can't go and do one thing in one city and something different in another city. Right. So um, this was really a large part of the decision and we listened to our customer. I mean it's the best thing for our company, for our family, for our associates, for our consumers, but mostly for our elephants. Look, people's tastes and and minds do change. I mean, back in the day, doctors were putting leeches on people's skin thinking it was actually going to help them cure of disease. Or, I mean, I was thinking the other day, back in 1891, Coca-Cola was putting cocaine inside Coke. We evolve. We learn from things. Perhaps that is certainly part of this. And, and by 2018, the elephants will be gone. What about the tigers and no, lions? No, the elephants they... will be, the, the, the elephants will not be touring, right. They'll but be they in your will be at our center. Area. Good. Th that's right. Are, are the lions and the tigers next? Because some of those species are endangered. There's a difference between having lions and tigers, dogs, elephants, camels, uh, and these are animals that, again, have been with the greatest show on earth for many, many years. But it's very different to transport 12,000 pound elephants from city to city. And you know what? This is about elephants and the conservation and what we want to do and what we think is right for the species with elephants. And you know, we've been around for 145 years right. and no company has succeeded and survived for over 145 years without change. And the one thing we know in this world, the only consistent thing is change. And so we are always changing, we're always adapting to what the tastes of our consumer are. And we will continue to do that.
Kenneth Feld, we do appreciate you coming on here, your first Business Network interview. We wanted to hear about this. It is a huge discussion topic across America now, and we get it straight from you. Not the elephant's mouth, but the horse's mouth on why the decision was made. Please come again when you're in town. Thank you so much. Th thank you, Liz. Anytime. Kenneth Feld is chairman and CEO of Feld Entertainment, the parent company of, of course, Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Circus. Coming up in...